And that, Nona, is why Boeing is saving capitalism by killing the whistleblowers, okay? Absolutely the fuck not. Yeah, you need that, to just no, go away. No, no. I'm right. I'm going to add all this later. Okay. No idea what just happened. Good. Okay, I'm ready. Why is this bitch half naked? Are they talking about me? Yeah. And the comment is regarding what? It was on a Mike Glover short. I'm yeah. trying to remember what I even wore for that. There were two episodes that we talked about them. So I was wearing a dress. You're half naked. You should see the guy's profile. <laughs> I. He looks like a total bozo. I feel like my face is doing that meme where you see like all the numbers and letters and the math is not mathing for me right now. Oh, anyways, so welcome back to another episode of All Time. This is the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. And since I haven't introduced her in a while and now people are actually watching us, this is my beautiful wife, Nona. I'm sorry. She's not a former stripper. She's not a current stripper. She's not a former porn star. She's not a current porn star. You can go look as hard as you want. Use that <laughs> Use that Google image search tool. Reverse image search. Try as hard as you want. You'll find her I'm website. just a mom. Go get some insurance. NonaPhelps.com. For all of your insurance needs. All of them. The way that you said all was like really ominous and oh, well. also had like oh, well. a little bit of an innuendo there. Oh, well. Okay. It's, it's just insurance. So your insurance can fuck you? I mean, it was, follow it was following the... The window the... is that the insurance is going to shove its green weenie up your asshole? Okay. Okay. This episode is also brought to you by America's Technology Center of Excellence, Lemax Media. And since we're rolling right into it, we'll just go ahead and tell you that our 100 episode subscriber, 100 subscriber winner, that milestone that we passed just like last week, mm -hmm. and haven't gotten to recording this yet, is... Our longtime commenter, Charlene. Oh, wow. Congratulations. So we'll get up with you. Um, since YouTube doesn't have a messaging feature, message us on, I think you follow us on Instagram too. I think I saw you on there. So message Bite us. Bite into on, our DM. Yeah, message <laughs> us on Instagram so that we know it's you and we'll get your email address and we'll get you your Amazon gift card. As soon as this video goes up, which will be Tuesday. We have a Monday episode already scheduled. We do? Yeah. One of the ones that we uh, recorded this past Monday. Oh, okay. So you'll see this on Tuesday. Okay. So on, on Tuesday, after you watch this, message us on Instagram. Congratulations. Yeah. That's so exciting. And thank oh. you so much for all of your support. Yep. You need to start leaving some mean comments. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> Don't be a hater. She uh, don't encourage people she, to she hate. Left you, she left you uh, on the Mother's Day post, the picture I posted on our community tab. She said, "Oh, she's so beautiful. Happy Aww, Mother's Day." So, that's so sweet. That was just a couple days ago. It feels like a lifetime ago already. This, all of this, has been moving so fast. Probably because you didn't do anything for Mother's Day. Well, all right. So, anyway, we moved Mother's Day for you. <laughs> Let's, um, that's a great transition period. Um, transition period. you talked about Mother's Day, yeah. and I'm a mom, and so I wanted to. How many do you have? They don't know. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Damn. I have four kids, obviously. I have, and <laughs> um, in the episode that's airing right before this one, we talked about something that occurred with the two girls a couple oh. of years ago. And I talked about a punishment that a mom had done um, sitting in front of Walmart did with you her. That it was a mom, uh, or did, did just I'm asking. It, it, was, it was a bystander who had taken the picture. So it, did they did they sit like their minivan in like the parking no, lot they were, and their air conditioning? No, I'm <laughs> saying the parent. No, the parent was sitting in a lawn chair behind uh. the child. Um, so I asked the girls last night, which would they have rather? in the situation that had occurred a couple years ago where they had stolen um, pa two packs of gum, one from one grocery store and one from a different grocery store. And we had had them write letters to the managers of the grocery store. Or I presented, or would you have rather had 
public shame like this boy and he looked to be about maybe like 13 14 years old maybe um i honestly don't even remember from looking at the picture i don't it was he, just, he looked to be about cooper's I, age all i did was pay i paid attention to the sign not what the kid looked like so i don't know i i don't know but he he was it looks like he for, was probably middle school for the audience the audio audience that hasn't seen and we're not even putting this we might put this on screen and post i don't know if if i if I want to invest that much time in editing, I know people are saying, why, why would we watch you on video? You guys don't put anything on the screen. It's just you're talking bobbleheads. Well, pay us and I'll hire an editor to do the work. Talking bobbleheads. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's kind of how I feel. No. Um, so anyway, I, I'm explaining to uh, the audience what, what this I'm looks like. I'm trying to get to you, it. You know, you know, those memes and they're not even actually memes. They're the, uh, like their, their dog, like ripped up the toilet paper. Or shredded a pillow on the couch, right, right, right. or whatever, and they put the little the, shame the sign. The shame on. sign, yeah. yeah. That was what they did to this child. Right, right. So, anyways, anyways, I asked the girls which would they have rather. Chloe, I mean, just beat red immediately, instant shame, remembering the situation, and Charlotte had already blocked it from her memory. You know, she was she was five, six years old when it occurred. This was like three yeah. years ago. Yeah. She's she's going she's going to be ten later this summer, but right. so she's nine right now. But um anyways, point being, it just it ruined Chloe's night, even discussing it. So that was the end of the conversation for her. And she was in a foul mood for the rest of the evening because of me just just asking. I I was not trying was to, nice to me. I was not trying to relive it. I was simply asking from their perspective at their age currently, which would they have rather? And because I'm genuinely curious. I, it was not I was not trying to put any shame or blame on them again. And Charlotte, after having to be reminded what had occurred <laughs> because again, she had already blocked it from her memory. Oh, yeah. And then she briefly said, oh, you know, maybe it wouldn't be so bad to be publicly shamed. And then after she said it out loud, she was uh, never mind. OK, so never mind. So here's what here's what I get out of that, though. One of the two store managers that you guys talked to. Yes. Was a complete asshole. To them. Yes. And was he was I so, was terrified. So. If you eliminate that. I was that, like 31 at the time and I was like scared for my life. El <laughs> eliminate the experience of being yelled at. And right. you only have the experience of the one saying thank you for right. coming right. in and apologizing and paying for it. Right. Do you think that completely changes the decision that they made? to, Or even the initial like jump to, oh, I'd rather have the sign. Do you think that would have never been an option? had they never been yelled at by some stranger whose store they stole from. Honestly, I, I, I can't speculate on that. I can. I just did. <laughs> okay. So anyways, we got home. This um, Charlotte had a concert last night for school. And after we got home. What kind of concert? A ukulele concert. It was a rock concert. Yeah, <laughs> it was a ukulele Heavy concert. metal ukulele yeah <laughs> anyway so we got home and after all the kids showered and everything and i was tucking them into bed um chloe and i ha had a good moment together and then i was saying good night and i oh. asked her to please clean her room today today is friday when we're filming so you know it's the weekend let's you know start the weekend off on a good note cleaning her room and there was like a flyer on the floor from um her getting braces two months ago at this point and like, it's maybe time to throw that away you don't need trash in your room and she just immediately got so angry again we just cleaned rooms while you were i, I know and and this flyer she just beach. she That's just doesn't want to get rid of this flyer i don't know why I'll get rid of it. <laughs> i don't know why it's it's a braces flyer like it's you know, she's had braces for two months at this point. Like, there's no need to keep it. It's not anything sentimental. Anyways. To the, you. <laughs> right. <laughs> she was she was the most excited to get braces. So maybe. Who knows? But she wrote me. Oh, note. that's what I gave you last night? 
I hadn't, I, she, she came down, I was sitting on the couch and she was like, you're still up. I can't even imagine still being awake. And I'm like, you, it's like 10 o'clock. You know that I'm up until like midnight or one almost every night. I only sleep like four to six hours. Anyways, I went in to, well, I got up. Actually, I was going to the bathroom and I said, bye. She was going out to walk Willow one last time. Mm -hmm. And then she handed me those to give to you. And I brought them in and set them on your nightstand. That's so, so I read them the first this, time I'm seeing it. I read them this morning as soon as I woke up and they made my morning. What was part one? Does that says part so, two? So yeah, there's part one oh. and part two. And she wrote me a note on literal note cards. And I'm just going to paraphrase here because obviously there's a lot to it. But ultimately, she was apologizing for her excessive anger on asking for the one piece of trash to be cleaned up and thrown away and her room to be cleaned ultimately because um she was already so upset from having that earlier conversation a couple hours ago reliving the embarrassment of something that had occurred a couple of years ago and she just wanted to apologize over and over and say that she was so very sorry and you know she didn't want me to be disappointed in her in any way which I never said that I was I are you sure yeah are you sure about that yes yes no, when... no she's never I think I've heard you say that phrase one time I've said it to you no no I even to them so no, disappointed to the... in your no, behavior to the kids you've said it You've said it one time in memorable recent history, mm -hmm. and it was something that like all of them fucked up together, mm -hmm. and I don't remember what it was. I don't remember either, but yeah, that's that's like the ultimate no word for every mom, and every mom knows that. I am so disappointed in you. Yeah. I wouldn't know. I've never been a disappointment to anybody. I literally just said I've said it to you. Yeah, but you were joking. No, I was not. Yes, you were. No, I was absolutely not joking. Yes, she was. But ultimately, it was so sweet that she had to get that off her chest and say that she was so sorry for the way that she reacted and that she is just wanting to be a good student and child and all around. And she was... Whatever. It was so sweet. It was so sweet. I gave her the biggest hug and told her to thank you and that I was so proud of her. I can't wait until she actually starts getting into it with you. <laughs> You're like, re you want us to have some knockout, drag out fights. Like, no, 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 no. That's not at all what it is. So, that's... so how, how it ended last night when I asked her to throw away the trash in her room, yeah. she yelled at me. And she does not oh, yell I at actually, me. Oh, actually, I thought, I thought no. you guys were, I heard it. I was down no. there. I thought you yeah. guys were joking. No. And yeah. I just, I, I mean, I was like, that is absolutely not okay that you are yelling at me. And she, I got up and I walked out of her room. When she tells a story, she dramatizes it. Like, I'm not saying she makes it dramatic, mm -hmm. but she reenacts the story. Like, Are you talking about Chloe or yeah, me? Yeah, Chloe. Uh -huh. When she's reenacting or telling a story, she's mm -hmm. reenacting the story. So she gets all into it. Mm -hmm. She doesn't just tell you, well, he said this, and then she said this. It's, And he was like, he was wearing the wrong thing. And she was like, <laughs> oh my God, what are you wearing? And that's like fully in character. Oh, so you thought, you, yes. had, you had no idea that no. it was a negative no, I situation. Thought, I thought you guys style. were having a conversation. No. And that she was telling you something or repeating a story. No, she and, yelled at me yeah. over me asking her to throw away trash. I had, had absolutely no idea. And I said that was absolutely not okay. So you know that's why she up, wrote. You know what would have been up there standing in the doorway? I would have been like. No, you, you and, and see that actually, that would have made it worse. Mm. It would have made it worse. Yeah. She rectified the situation. Okay. She wrote me a note on her own accord. I did not ask her to. Okay. She did that all on her own. Okay. And it was very sweet. And. Okay. She apologized profusely for yelling at me, and I forgave her. Did you? I did, of no. course. Why are you? Don't, don't side eye me like that. I didn't side eye you. Turn my entire head. 
and you did your like weird squinty like I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, what are we supposed to be talking about today? Um, we have a lot to talk about, but pop culture stuff. <clears throat> Not necessarily. Um, I think you were gonna have me hear some comments. You don't want to talk about this the was the Nazi blood painting looks like the guy from Ghostbusters thing, King of England. Oh, Prince Charles? I thought he was King now. Or whatever. King King, or... King Charles now. Is that is that the right title? Somebody know? Does anybody know? Yeah, King Charles the Third. In- incredibly disturbing and off putting. Did you see it though? Yeah. People uh, people pho- have like mirrored it. No, they, it looks they, like the they, they photoshopped it into the Ghostbusters scene. No, I haven't seen that. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. But yeah, it's it looks between that. Everybody's saying it's very telling and that the uh between that picture mm-hmm. and then the Biden's Fourth Reich standing. He was giving some speech. I don't know and they that did, one. They they lit uh, the backdrop and everything was all red. And no, so he's, he's, I haven't seen that at all. This was like a year ago. Oh, it was last yeah. year. But he's like, he's up there and he's got two fists in the air yelling and it's all red. No. Yeah, yeah it, looks, I... it looks like something straight out of World War II propaganda. Interesting. Yeah. And, I, and I'm saying World War II Nazi propaganda, not mm. American propaganda. Yeah, Straight up communism yeah, same thing. When somebody tells you who they are, believe them. Right. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You can't change people. Believe them the first time that they show you. Mm-hmm. 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 Looking right at you. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> no, but let's talk about inflation. Why? And how food is a fucking luxury at this point. You know Just, why? just si- Oh, yeah, Biden taking an office. No, but no, I'm not. Just since... I'm not just blaming a president. I'm just saying, like, if you're a corporation, right, and your prices start going up, you still need to pay your employees. You still need to buy your products and pay for your services right. and stuff like that to make your final product. Mm-hmm. So you want to set a price at which gives you a little bit of buffer, right? Mm-hmm. Even if inflation gets under control and the cost of doing business comes down, like okay. the cost of raw goods or whatever. Right. They've already set the price right here. Right. They're not going to come down even if their cost comes down because they are trying to protect themselves in their future. Right, right. That's what people get pissed off and they're like, I didn't get a bonus, but the company made all this money. It's because they know that this is going to happen again. It's not because they're fucking evil. Some of them probably are. Mm-hmm. But from a business standpoint, you need to keep yourself, you need to give yourself a safety net. Some of them eventually, especially if competition enters the market, right? Okay. That is what capitalism is all about. Somebody else come to the table with a better, more affordable product. And then you will force the big guys to come down in price. Happens every time. I don't know. I honestly... Maybe not with food. I don't expect prices to come down in any regard. Just since meeting you in 2020, I have literally doubled my grocery bill. It's not my fault. I'm saying buying the exact same items are literally double at the grocery store. And I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm I, saying it's inflation's fault for the same exact items. Right. But so I used to spend if, 800 to 1000 dollars on groceries every single month. And this now is going to Costco for anybody that's like this is Costco trips. Now it's two and grand. Two grand. And- I only buy on sale. Yeah. The kids all know that. They usually, they'll like, maybe once a week will come to the grocery store with me. They know not to even ask if it's not on sale. They, or not they, we go through, we go, we follow the cycles of the grocery store. If everything for tacos are on sale for yes. a week, yeah, we no, tacos absolutely. for a week. Plan meals around what's on sale. If, if you, every, you have to. If, if everything for burgers is on sale for a week, we're eating burgers for a week. <laughs> I don't know about for a week, but you're mm. you're you're being a little excessive on that. No. But yes, definitely planning meals around what is on sale, being very smart about what I buy, nothing excessive, no extravagant extras essentially. The kids 
are obviously taken care of. Now, to be clear, there is no cafeteria at their school. So I do have to pack their lunch every single day. So a lot of people don't have to take that into we're account. A, we're a three meal a day for six people right. household. Right. So when you hear two grand, that that might be higher, but your child might be about, eating lunch at school. And about 500 of it is carrots being thrown away after Shut lunch. Shut the fuck up. That's not true. <laughs> that is not true. It's true. That's not true. It's true. So let me just run down the uh, percentage increase for inflation since Biden took office. Gas up 55.5%. Yeah. Groceries up only 21.3%. Um, I feel like that's low, but eating out up 21.8%, which let's talk about that real quick. Before me, yep. used to get Uber Eats at least on a weekly basis, if not probably oh. two times a week. If More like three to five. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. If you could have food delivered every single day, he would be so happy. It he was... would be so happy. Okay, but it's... And that was just not an option for me. Like, like there's, I, there's... I spend all of my food money on groceries. There's like... two things that go into that decision. For one, it's a convenience factor. So you have the convenience tax. But then also... I'm not wasting, at that time, living on the other side of the river, I'm not wasting an hour round trip. Okay. I'm wasting somebody else's hour, and I'm working or getting something done. Okay, but thankfully, over the last year, he has finally cut that out because that's a fucking luxury. It's not important. Yeah. It's more important to keep if, the lights $50 on. $50 for one Chipotle. Yeah, almost. there absolutely. <laughs> absolutely not. I mean, taking us out to dinner last night was over $200. Like... Yeah. Um, I actually, so what was it last Thursday morning? What day did I go to the Waffle House? Thursday or Friday with the kids for breakfast? I think it was Thursday. Yeah. yeah. So typically at Waffle House, uh, we're like $35 previously. Even if you came and got a grilled cheese, it was like $35 plus tax is what I would pay. Okay. When we were there last week. Mm hmm Without the, me, the so it was, only, it was him and the four children. Only one thing changed, and we actually got less bacon than we had the time before that. Because I think okay. I, I think I got three plates of bacon. Cause For them I to had, like all pick off of. I had like a plate and a half, mm -hmm. and then the the kids each shared like one piece. Because I think it's like three pieces that come on a side plate of bacon. I don't know. So semantics. So I only got one. Which speaking of, I do feel like also shrinkflation on that situation like no we didn't we got the same amount of food as always waffle house is good about that i think i i have noticed that portions have definitely gotten smaller like, ev not everywhere a, not a that, house, but, but anyway like flaming amy's local burrito barn here the burritos are literally half the size that they used to be for the same price actually more yeah. they actually doubled notice, in you, price i didn't i've never seen this before but Kilwin's last night was uh, they had a they put the cone yeah, yeah, on the yeah. scale they, and they were they, weighing they the weigh scoop. it yeah, yeah. I had never seen they've that gotten before. so yeah. particular about yeah. it so uh, Waffle House yeah the only the only change to our like typical order because everybody pretty much, other than me gets mm -hmm. waffles I get the same food right every single time I go to Waffle House mm -hmm. the only thing that changed was Cooper he got a uh, Texas breakfast melt right texas toast breakfast milk. instead of his yeah. normal waffle and after taxes and uh tip mm -hmm. we were at like 55 dollars. damn up yeah. oh, basically 20 dollars, yeah. and i wasn't even with them with one 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 extra sandwich yeah and yeah. one less person <laughs> and less bacon yeah. yeah that's yeah no that's spot on yeah. um let's see pet food up 23 percent i can attest to that um yeah. obviously we have three dogs so My we, clients we go through increased it increase the cost and and it's not even their fault i've seen their margins it's great the they're, they're making they're making yeah. pennies yeah. basically they're they're the dog their premium dog food is their store's loss leader mm -hmm. it's essentially the like the gas station right right, right. The gas you're hoping that people are going to come yeah. in just for the other yeah. stuff so they're hoping people are going to come in for the dog toys yeah. the w outfits whatever the case may be yeah. and the they're making zero dollars yeah. on the dog food. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Used cars up 20%. Yeah. It's been for a couple oh, of years. Yeah. Oh, this is since like been... COVID. Right. Yeah. Since Biden took office. Biden took office during yeah. COVID. 
uh, rent up 21, 20, almost 21%, right at 20.8%. Um, I would say it's even higher than that. Yeah, I... Like, so it's probably where you live. So this is obviously an average, but here it is at least 50% higher than it was before Biden, at least 50%. You could rent a house for $1,500 a month for a three bed, two bath. Now it is three grand minimum. So that is literally 50% higher. Wait, Obviously, what was, what was your number just there? 1500 a month to, to now it's three grand. Yeah, 100%. Or no, I'm sorry, 100%. 100% is a doubling. 50% is half, so it's 1.5. So if you're at 1500, it'd be 1500 plus 750. So right. you're, what I'm saying is it's literally yeah. double. Yeah, 100% increases a double. It's, yeah, it makes, that when you, when sounds you say it, backwards yeah. to me. When you okay. say it, yeah. It, so I apologize for saying that wrong. It's literally double is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, transportation up 26%. The average earnings have not changed though. That is the biggest fucking problem of it all. We are making roughly the same amount right now in 2024 as we were in 2020. And everything is costing so much more with an average household spending over fifteen hundred dollars extra a month and not being able to afford it so everybody's living off of credit cards now this is insane remember the roaring 20s yeah, they're calling this the silent depression did you have you heard that term no but here's the thing about the great depression what do you think they call it at that time Probably just we're fucking poor. Right, right. No, and and we, we name they've, things they've, after the fact. They've equated the numbers to 2024 to how it was in the early 20s. This is actually worse. Sure. Because the living wage is so. But yeah, that's. I'm. We're we're all going through it and seeing people having to ask for help is so sad especially when you can't help and you want to help you, you want to hear a, a crazy number i wasn't even going to bring this up and it wasn't even on on topic list or anything like that um the pentagon dod congress some i don't know somebody within there uh proposed and i think it's moving forward a 20 percent mm -hmm. pay increase for junior enlisted and i don't know what that rate i actually did hear that higher enlisted but so i i went to the uh pay calculator mm -hmm. just out of curiosity i grabbed e4 with four years in service because mm -hmm. that's about the time when people are making their decision whether or not they want to get out okay if they've done just a three to four year contract yeah that makes sense so the uh the pay increase assuming you have no other incentives bas bh no dependents you don't have anything else just what's bah basic allowance for housing oh okay so if you are a certain rank or if you have gotcha you're married and have dependents gotcha okay um so the the math if you take that 20 percent and apply it to the base pay for an e4 without any other incentive pay or anything like that mm -hmm. they would be gaining roughly seventy five hundred dollars a year they would be moving to about 44 to forty five thousand dollars a year that's not terrible yeah for an e4 in the army i think i made like 37 or 38 when i get out but and just to be clear like your housing is covered that's what the bah is so I, well that's if you have so the salary dependents. i wasn't uh, that's what okay. i'm saying without any other obviously i'm pay. I'm kind of stupid on it's the just, military just, pay situation just pay, but just base pay just the pay that you get for existing in the army or in actually it's all branches e4 z4 z4 okay so existing in any branch doesn't matter where you're stationed, doesn't matter what unit you're in, doesn't matter if you have any sort of specialty skill, that's the starting pay number for that pay grade at that time in service. Okay. So that's, I mean, to go up $7,500. Right. Yes. To, from 36, 37 roughly to 40, I think it was like 44, two. Hopefully other companies will follow suit after seeing that. I mean, if they will do it. But for the military, it's also a retention and recruiting thing. They, but again, if they will do it, then hopefully they're already, private company as well as well. They're already because... giving you housing. They're already giving you food. Now they're just trying to keep you in. So Understandable. Yeah. But again, hopefully private companies will follow suit because that's something that we all need. Yeah. 
one of the things uh when i was walking through the px and brag with the kids uh -huh. when you look at the prices of things let's let's throw tvs in there right okay. because everything in there is tax-free duty-free right. whatever you want to say when i was looking at the prices the prices are actually higher than you would find on like say an amazon okay. but then you pay for prime and or shipping right sometimes both right and taxes right and who wants to return a tv to amazon because that's a whole pain in the ass yeah i right? have just... never even thought about that yeah. <laughs> so you can go and buy it tax-free but at a higher price so are you actually saving any money probably not in most cases or some, some back to your you Uber Eats situation, it's a convenience thing. They're not having to leave base. They're yeah. right there. It's yeah. it's convenience. Plus, they can buy it on uh, their military star card and uh, gouge. What's a what's it's, a military it's, star card? It's basically it's an unsecured credit card that pretty much everybody in the military can get. Okay. But they know they're going to get their money because you're either enlisted or an officer they'll the take it from the government yeah. if you don't pay yeah. got yeah. it <laughs> they'll take it right out of your paycheck gotcha that makes sense so that's you know everybody that doesn't it's have like a 45 percent interest rate or something crazy no no they have normal interest rates but that's the only place that it's valid like gotcha you, you can't, oh okay you can't go buy something at like walmart interesting yeah. interesting yeah. the things you find out it's later little, in life it's a little closed economy and that's, I mean, it's a big deal to get something into that system because when you get something into AFIS, the um, Army and Air Force Exchange Service, or okay. the uh, Naval, I can't remember what theirs is called. It doesn't matter. So once you get something into there, mm -hmm. you basically circumvent state and local laws. Okay. So for example, trying to get uh, different spirits and alcohols that are new from a new brand into North Carolina, into the ABC system mm -hmm. is a fucking nightmare right. from everybody that I've talked to. Brad Primo talked about it with um, Lead Slingers. Right. Cold Zero, I don't think ever has any plans of getting into the state because mm -hmm. they don't want to go through it. Mm -hmm. um, but if you get into the PX, PX system and somebody like me that has access and I really want it, I can just drive there and get it. Okay. Going to Myrtle Beach is a little bit closer. Right, yeah. <laughs> But I don't know, equally as stabby though. So, yeah. <laughs> and, um, what was that? Our UPS guy, or I can't remember who I was talking to. When I got it delivered that one time when I was going to do mm -hmm. some uh, promo stuff mm -hmm. for the bottles that I left in Iowa, right, right. I ordered it and they shipped it right to my house. Mm -hmm. I, it, it had to have been the UPS guy because I was really like talk to him all the time. Right. Um, one of the things they said, he goes, We don't care what's in the package as long as. It's not, you know, explosives or right. it's not going to do something to the vehicle or whatever. Is it, if it fits in the box and you pay for it, we're shipping it. And they, that's what they did. They shipped the bottles of alcohol right to my door. That's smart. Hmm. You can it's, circumvent the ABC situation. Technically, they're not supposed to be able to, but I well, mean, the, the, probably the volume of sales coming into the state, it's not even worth the state's time to right. go after an out of state company for it. What well, I remember Mark mentioning something about a uh, whiskey or bourbon of the month club that he had signed up for as well. So they, if they are so, allowed to do that. So then... one of the things like, so these companies like Total Wine, right, you know, right. Total Wine is actually a store. There's maybe Total Wine also has a big online presence, but <laughs> one of them, they'll, they'll tell you like something qualifies or it doesn't, mm -hmm. it can ship to your state or it doesn't. If all the shipper knows is that this label, this company that's paying for shipping mm -hmm. is already legally allowed to ship some stuff there. Right. They're not they're not gonna tell the difference between a bottle of vodka that's allowed on the shelf and a bottle of vodka that's not allowed on the shelf. Right. They just know that they paid for their shipping and it's going to the customer. But that's all they care about. Right. And as long as they're getting paid, yeah. that's all that matters. So which is amazing because Fuck the ABC store and AB, the the whole ABC board in the state of North Carolina. There should be no state controlled anything. That's anything. for a whole other conversation on another day, Andrew. When I run, this man has said that he was going to run for HOA president like 
seven years in a row at this point. Yeah, I ran last Never year. fucking I ran going last... to happen. I ran you last didn't year. put any effort into it yeah, at I, all. You I, literally signed up, I, wrote your name. And people still and voted it, for me. <laughs> our realtor said that he voted for you. I know. A lot of people voted for me. I, I came in like sixth. There were like only six people running. No, there were like 33. No. Yes, there were. I came no. in. No. You had in, like 30 votes. To I your came name. in sixth. By doing nothing he but writing a bio. Yeah, he <laughs> literally refused to even show up to the meet and greet so that people in the neighborhood could, could even put a, you know, name and face to the same little bio. And all they knew was he was an asshole on the neighborhood group. That's all they knew. And people voted. And for me. 30 whole people <laughs> voted for the asshole of the no, neighborhood. No, it was, it was a couple hundred. I think I had like 311 votes. But it was also Pretty you sure select it was actually 30. no you select multiple people so you select you know who you want one two three I think it was there because the the townhomes had like what two seats and then there were five for the general community so I was only one seat out <laughs> without doing anything imagine if I would have actually tried imagine imagine I put effort imagine. into the show yes you do I do I'm pretty good at it. Mm -hmm. I'm say so myself. Look at you patting yourself on your beard. Yeah. I've never seen that before. Not patting yourself on the back. Giving Just myself doing the cheek a caress. Beard drum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's also me uh, addressing the the stray hairs that are popping up as I'm looking at myself in the camera. I'm not supposed to pat somebody on the shoulder. <laughs> For those of you who are just it's our, not, it's our not, listeners. It's not, POS. it's not POS, it's POB. Angry Cop shirt is... Good job. Okay, whatever, man. This is POS. Pat on shoulder, a.k.a. piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You said it, not me. You were the one tapping me on the shoulder. Yeah, just, you said I, it, I not me. I just returned the favor. Yeah. So. So. What are we actually talking about? We're 38 minutes in. This is just one of those kind of episodes. Yeah, well, we're, you know, cost of living is fucking expensive. Everybody is, like, dying out here on our minimum wage, not keeping up. Okay, hyperbole. I'm just kidding. Hyperbole? Yeah. Okay. I want to read through mm -hmm. a couple of these comments. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, responses with new replies. There we go. Come on. Speed it up. Okay, so, first of all, these are from various different videos over the last... 10 days so, or so shorts reels youtube this is all, what else this is all directly all specifically from youtube video. shorts right yeah. instagram is reels yes okay i'm very stupid to all of us they're all the same thing just okay one is better than the other okay and again i'm not on social media i don't see this he only, is the only one who sees this and feels all of your guys's beautiful words for people that still believe in innocent until proven guilty your channel name alone damages your credibility. Our channel name has nothing to do with domestic violence. Oh my God. <laughs> Our channel name was just a name that do I came up with Do they think on a whim. that we created the channel after Mike Glover yeah. did what he did to his they, girlfriend? They think our entire channel revolves around oh women. God. They think it revolves around women being right and men being wrong in all situations and that we're feminist. Oh, okay. So that's a great thing. If you have a situation, a I'm a no, 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 I'm, I'm not a feminist. Did you just hear yourself? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, if you guys have another situation that you guys would like us to talk about where either he or she is right or wrong in the situation, that way we can continue this lovely narrative that we only talk about the man being wrong and the yeah. women being all right. Yep. And all powerful yep. and all controlling. Mm -hmm. Is that the, the other narrative that I control you? She needs to stop staring at you while you talk. We've already had this conversation. I am so sorry that it is uh, polite to look at the person who is talking. Is it? I'm asking. I'm not telling. I'm asking, is it? That is what I believe. I have to change the response status. Sorry, I clicked on the wrong one. Okay. Does he have Down syndrome? No. I don't know. Oh, no. My response was My poor pretty, baby. Sure, pretty sure Brandon doesn't have that, but maybe some tism. Can't be sure. Haven't met him. 
if you Brandon don't, Herrera? Yeah, if you don't add context, I'm just going to respond <laughs> however. <laughs> I was assuming they were talking about you. Mm, it's okay. Catchy channel name, but I nearly died from the lack of conversational flow in dude's initial setup reading. He started it with quotes, so I don't know where the quotes were supposed to end. Okay. Thank you for your comment, kind sir. <laughs> you are so sweet to us. We really appreciate you. Brandon building AK-50 has proven he is a man of his word, unlike turncoat Tony. Tony okay. Gonzalez is the, right, right. the who, incumbent who's... that he's running against. Right. Now. Which, oh my God, man. This dude is so desperate right now. The, the crazy thing is, he'll post something mm -hmm. and get like 12 likes. Right. And, and then, then all of Brandon's YouTube people will Donut come after Brandon, him. Yeah, not even come after him. They're like, this is a dumb video. Mm -hmm. And they'll get 20,000 likes. Right. <laughs> and so. But again, I'm going to say the same thing that I said in the episode that we talked about him. All of the people who are not on social media like me are not seeing this. Yeah. So, so he, But they're also seeing it because he's running ads. They're not just mm -hmm. on Twitter. But one of the other things regarding and and I've thought it, and I'm sure this is exactly what's happening because he hired a marketing firm to do this. Tony or Tony. Brandon? Tony. Okay. So Donut said, I think at this point, speaking to the marketing agency or whatever, this pact with like 700 followers that posted another video, he's like, at this point, it's pretty obvious that Tony's just paying you guys and you're just turning around and reporting numbers. You're not actually telling him that People don't actually fucking like you, dude. You're just saying, hey, we got 50,000 engagements. Shares. You don't think that this Tony person is monitoring this at all? You think he's only turned it over to his marketing team? I can't imagine that he's very involved in it because if he was. You think he would do things differently? No, or do you no, think he's really no, that fucking no, dumb? He's that dumb. Right. So I think he is seeing some of this and he just doesn't know any better. Okay. But you don't see any of our YouTube comments. You're right. So, I don't. So that's, yeah, same same kind of thing. He's not going to see every comment and every post and every thread, mm -hmm. especially when it's, it, most of it doesn't even come from his official channel. It comes from his uh, campaign, their channels. Okay. I don't, I don't know if Tony's official channel even tweets or posts anything. I haven't okay. actually looked at it. I just know that it's not. They're two distinct I, things. Okay. Um... Laugh my ass off. Yeah, the bimbo sure adds to this discussion about guns. Well, talk to him Say, because and, and the, he hasn't taken me. It was it was positive. Like the video, it was the one where you asked if it was going to help him or hurt him in the election. I said it'll probably help him. And then like, yeah, she she sure adds a lot of a lot of help to this discussion. Okay. I said, Oh, did she hurt your feelings by being attractive? No. <laughs> Um, let me skip through some of this. Let me skip. Let me skip. Let me skip. Some of these are like they're just. Will you guys learn how to use punctuation? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! I mean, if my twelve-year-old can write better than you guys can, it's very telling. Very yeah. telling. Coming back to some Michael Lover stuff. Oh, okay. People yeah. just completely out so of so simping for him. When a wife has mental illness problems, the whole house is in danger. God bless this broken family. It's time to seek Jesus. What Jesus evidence was what, in the bathroom? What evidence? With her, what obviously. evidence do you have that she has any sort of mental illness? Right, just because he yep. stated as such yep. does not mean that there is documentation to back it up. Waffle Stomper sixty nine says, "Ooh, what a an weapon of all caps." A weapon of war, fully semi-automatic machined gun. Machined? So he's making fun of politicians. And so oh. I replied, those darn ghost guns and their fully automatic clips, bullet buttons, and high ammo stock. That went right over my head. Yeah. So there's a bunch of videos that I'll show you, and they're just totally cringe. They're, they're or you know what? Politicians, we, just, we don't need to. Politicians holding rifles and just saying as many keywords and whatever yeah that actually can bring us to a little a little side topic what's that we can talk about the lady who is running for um 
Missouri Secretary of State Valentina Gomez, okay. who that is quite literally what she is marketing herself as. She's not going to win in Missouri. She's a Democrat. What is she? No, definitely Republican. Fuck around and find out oh, was yeah. on one of her videos yeah. and calling people weak and gay. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is this is going to be interesting. I think I think pit vipers are being canceled. By the way. Yes, because they came out and said that they were contributing to the person running against her, all because she yep. was wearing them in the video yep. where she called people weak and gay. Yep. So that is um they're being they're they're being yeah, they're, they're being canceled because the, the very they first, aren't the, catering to their the first thing market. that I opened, the first thing that I opened Twitter to mm -hmm. were the Nazi SS soldiers wearing pit vipers that's the first thing i saw on my twitter feed and i was like <laughs> okay where where's this going, going? This? and then you went down the rabbit hole yep. and you saw that they contributed such a weird number too. it was how much she paid for those sunglasses that makes sense so it was that the dollar amount sense. that she paid yeah. that makes sense okay I was, kind of, they, I was kind of guessing that but they, i didn't their, their comment was we'll use your money to pay the person running right right whatever. yeah yeah which okay right. you i mean not what she said was right but you should have just stayed okay out of it. so i'm not saying that what she did is right but i commend her for being upfront and not being a typical politician and being sneaky behind closed doors so i commend her for that and just laying it all out um again i'm not saying what she did was right but again i commend her for being upfront and blatant about what it is that she stands for personally so there's a conspiracy theorist in here oh okay kept apparently he didn't see his own thing post multiple times and i was like dude how many times are you gonna post the same reply <laughs> not even reply or read it it's all gibberish complete and total top to bottom just conspiracy 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 and i was like Okay. I replied something back. I was like, I can't even read your tinfoil hat drivel, blah, blah, blah. Is that why you're wearing a tinfoil hat? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then he <laughs> replied back with even more. And it was like. What is the conspiracy that he's getting at? Just all of these things. And it was, he was saying, the the whole thing started. How could Brandon Herrera's AK-50 be used against him? I mean, anything in life can be used against you. He, That's how. He, he literally had a quote taken out of context. What do you mean? How? Yeah, literally somebody, anything can. Somebody, it might not be in this election, the the runoff, because Tony right. wants Something to pretend. Something could happen with it. No, no, and when, it he could go, be... when the actual November election comes around, the Democrats that are running against him in that district will probably pull the same stunts that Tony's doing. And they'll probably throw in, we want to get rid of this guy because right. he builds his own guns. No, no, absolutely. Yeah. And also, something could occur with it, like the guy that you, um, the one well, of the YouTube. Kentucky Ballistics. Yes. There's something another guy that uh, they're slow, ballistic high speed or something like that. They do slow-mo video of guns. Okay. Uh, he had a, an RPG blow up. Right. So I'm saying literally anything could happen and it will get used against you yeah. by any other politician. Yeah. So- I was just asking a genuine question of, do you think that it will be used against him or will it actually help his campaign? So then he gets into this other thing. He's like, I can't expect someone to fight above their weight class, I suppose. And I was like, buddy, you're not even punching out of a wet paper bag. You're intentionally drowning yourself. What? He's like basically trying to pretend that he's smart. And I'm like, you... The more you pile yeah, this not, on there, yeah, none of it sounds smart to me. You're but not okay. in a weight class. You're in a wet paper bag, and you can't even fight your way out of it. You just sound like a moron. Okay. Uh, I mean, some of these aren't even funny. They're just true. Um, <laughs> like what? They're, What's they're, true? Uh, just talking about Mike being screwed and stuff like that. But ah, uh, gotcha. Here's here's a whole argument that people are having, not just on our YouTube, but also on Reddit and Twitter. And, okay. And, they're arguing over Mike's age. And this, About how he's 18 years older than No, 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 no. They're trying to make Mike even older and the girl even younger. They're trying to say that Mike is 50. This guy was in, in our one of our threads. He's like, Mike's, okay. not, Mike's not 44. He's 50. 
he's on a podcast saying how he joined in 93. And I'm like, okay, so provide links. And he's like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to believe the defense department documents. And I was like, oh, what defense department documents do you have? Because his driver's license says he's 44. Mm -hmm. The police report says he's 44. His LinkedIn says he's 44. His bio on Fieldcraft says he's 44. Okay, but... Them- so even if he was 50, what is the argument here that he's like gross and dirty? Like what, what no, are they trying why, to get why, at? Widening the gap even more. They're putting, they're trying to put him at 50. Mm-hmm. So that's 24 years instead of 18. Right. And then they're bringing her from 26 down to 19. Oh. Yeah. And saying that it's grooming, which even the 18 year gap well is, i mean is big r- enough, but right and obviously years... obviously they've been in a relationship for a little while so even if she yeah. has been with him since even possibly 19 i think that's... i think what i read somewhere is that she either got pregnant or had the children at 23 one of the two, two. at the exact same time They're so twins. twins yeah i wouldn't know that i don't have that information so all i heard you just now say was or may, maybe the twins, the, the twins might not be here. It might be the boy. It's one or the other. They He has three. Chuck is calling me twice. So I'm going to have to pause this real quick. Or we can just go ahead and, yeah. I got to answer a client call. Yeah. She was the one that was supposed to be getting a client yes. call. <laughs> so anyways, everybody, have a good Tuesday. Tuesday have a good episode. Rest of your day. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye.